Hi, uh, just a quick update uh, on the project so far. Uh, I did a few changes. Uh, first of all, uh, um, I changed uh, uh, the frequency uh, because the tag uh, for 12 bit needs up to 6.26 kilohertz. So I set this instead of 16 up to uh, 5.6 kilohertz. It's actually it's much much smoother. It's uh, more active, so I get the full range out. And uh, to see what I mean, um, when I turn it, I put the voltmeter there so you can see it. Um, this is up to the hard stop. Okay. And uh, if I torque it more to the maximum, it goes up to the full scale, up to almost five volts to the other side too okay and um, there is um, actually not much play now almost at all I can't get it to get the play anymore uh, so it is good um, and another thing is, uh, uh, if you're gonna use these ports, if you're gonna use your own, um, except the jumpers here uh, should be like this. Uh, on the bottom, there is a, a jumper you have to change. Uh, the V in out jumper, this one, which uh, needs to be soldered on the other side. Or it's 5 volt output. Uh, right now it's 5, five volt input. Um, you need to do this change so you can provide power for the DAC because this is where it gets the 5 volts out. Uh, so <clears throat> just a, a little warning because I, I was trying it this morning and uh, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. It, it was uh, this didn't give the 5 volt I need uh, to the board. Okay and. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, work on it. I increased the uh, uh, max uh, speed to 200 uh, RPM. So if I do it, let me release it so you can see. The maximum goes up to 200. Okay, let me see it close up there. little lower but almost 200 okay so anyway a um, few more uh, little adjustments but I'm gonna clean it up and uh, uh, make a little manual for it thanks for watching